here with Frankie Herr, Pennsylvania, uh, super sportsman fame. Uh, those of you unfamiliar with uh, super sportsmen, they were a smaller division out in central Pennsylvania. Uh, Silver Spring Speedway, which is no longer with us, had a stronghold of these type of cars. Essentially, a um, standard sprint car with kind of like a two by four frame rail underneath of them. They had uh, starters on them. No front wing normally, and a smaller, usually about a 16 square uh, center section wing, kind of like a 358 wing. And um, very successful, high car counts in that region. Uh, to my knowledge, it's kind of the only part of the country that used to run that type of car. And it was kind of like a, uh, you know, kind of like a not limited late model, but you know, kind of lower, lower division, more economical form of sprint car racing for a lot of guys. And super competitive, huge, huge car counts. And the series as a whole has had ups and downs in the last few years with track closures and changes. And uh, we got one of the uh, top champions in that form of racing with us here, and he's going to touch on that uh, super sportsman world quite a bit. Frankie, nice to have you. Thank you very much, Anthony. So what's, uh, what's happened in the last couple of years as far as super sportsmen, and what's happened with you in 2014, and what's the future holding the next year or so? Yeah, it was kind of a rocky road there a little bit when we left Silver Springs, really not knowing where we was headed. Uh, uh, luckily, uh, we got a home track there at Williams Grove on the Saturday night series, uh, which they have another late model street stock series there also. Uh, but it turned out to be a pretty good thing. We had to freshen and work on our motor programs a little bit better. Uh, normally turning 7,500 like on a little 3 8 mile bull rings. Yeah, and the growth will grow, yeah, stretch it out. Yeah, we're working them a little <laughs> harder. So uh, we've been real successful there. I do have the most feature wins at Williams Grove, uh, 26 uh, feature wins at the Grove. That's uh, impressive. Since we started at the Grove in 2006, I won every championship except for one year. In 2009, I missed out. Uh, Kind of got uh, rain delayed there a couple of times and didn't get a chance to get back at them. But we ran second in points that year. But we we've accomplished the championship every year uh, since mm. they got started in 2006. Uh, 100 lappers they uh, started that down at uh, Silver Springs uh, yep. at the end of the year. They run 100 lap race. Uh, got two in a row now and they took that to Lincoln Speedway in really? Hanover and wow. uh, I won two in a row now I got seven total so uh, hopefully we can get that start, out of reach. You gotta start working out getting <laughs> yeah. ready for that one. Uh, that's a workout but uh, <clears throat> the sportsman cars like you said is real definitely affordable division for yeah. a working man as far as a steel block steel head you know twelve thousand dollar motor you know not too bad in the purse uh, that stayed the same as what they did at Silver Spring. So it's been a pretty nice purse for the division. And like you said, we do get the cars there, you know, 35, 38 cars each week. So it makes for a good car count. Yeah, that, that's really impressive still with that many different series out in that uh, area to begin with. And, you know, the Super Sportsman puts on a good show. Um, I had the pleasure of working on a few when they went to New Egypt Speedway. Mm -hmm. Uh, when that kind of transition was taking place. And uh, really similar to a uh, sprint car, yeah, there's some dynamic differences. Uh, they're a little bit, you know, heavier, obviously, definitely a heavier car, a little bit more body roll. So, um, you know, as a driver, what else have you driven um, in your career? And uh, do you participate in any other stuff right now besides a super sportsman? Yeah, I did do a little uh, 410 racing in uh, 94. I also did some there early 2000. Uh, did some 410 racing. Just, you know, really was uh, not able to land that good deal, I guess you could say, to those continue are the heydays. that on. So, that, those were the heydays yeah, back then, too. I was kind of doing both, you know, doing a sportsman deal, and I kind of stuck around with that. And uh, uh, I did some 358 racing. I won some championships in the 358s. Uh, got a number of wins with the 358s. Uh, it's, uh, you know, power-wise, uh, big difference. You know, between the 410s and 358s. Or, I mean, sportsman-wise, it's just a little heavier car, like you said. Yeah. And uh, got to manhandle them a little bit, but uh, I enjoy that part of the deal and uh, been successful at that sportsman deal. So. Uh, uh, keep on that. Uh, I've been been working with Nicole Bauer. Uh, she's a female racer out of uh, Central PA. Yeah, familiar. I uh, started wrenching that team two years ago. Kind of crew chief deal on that, and uh, that's my job during the week, maintaining her Good race cars. You. And uh, great. It's been keeping me real busy and uh, building cars over the winter. And uh, 
she's been doing pretty daggone good. Uh, she's only her third year of racing, and uh, to, to, to run the top 15 at Williams Grove, you know, with the Central PA guys, it's not too shabby. She won yeah. some heat races this year, and uh, luckily I got her some good uh, help. Uh, Donnie Reckroad uh, from Harrisburg, uh, he's been helping me during the week and also at the races on Saturday because I like to play on Saturday nights, and I, I need somebody because she needs to go racing too. Yeah, so. yeah. We kind of got a good team for her going now, and uh, we're looking for uh, a lot of good things to happen for her uh, in the next couple of years. And I, I told her dad, you know, maybe that, uh, maybe I'll be able to get out of racing and just continue to work on them and enjoy that part of the deal. But or, or we'll at, see. Or <laughs> add a second car to her team, and then you're, you're side by side all yeah, the time. Right. Yeah, uh huh. No, I uh, definitely miss the uh, Central Pennsylvania sprint car scene. It's second to none, I think, across the country. And uh, it's, it's really neat to see both sides of the world, and there, there's nothing like it. And, um, you know, the Super Sportsman deal is always uh, intriguing to me. You know, you, you watch a 410 car go down the straightaway at the Grove some nights, you know. You know, the right front's hiked up a foot and a half in the air. Well, if the 410's hiking the right front up, Super Sportsman's two feet up in the yeah, air. Yeah, that's right. It's completely incredible to watch those cars and how they handle. And yep, uh, yep. It, was, it was always really cool watching that. And um, it's an honor to have you here as one of the you know icons of that sport, and definitely Central Pennsylvania, um, no matter what. And if you if you win in anything out there, you could win in a wheelbarrow race. Mm -hmm. You're accomplishing something, yeah. and uh, it's just cool to have you here and supporting Kaiser Wheels. And uh, it's great just to see the support of everybody working together. I appreciate Kaiser Wheel and all your help. Uh made a difference in our racing team. Uh, they've been successful even in the, you know, like I said, no matter if we put it on a sportsman car, we put it on a sprint car. We, everything's been real good and uh, they've been treating us real good. And uh, you always have inventory and making sure we get what we need. And uh, I appreciate Kaiser's help. All right. Thanks to Frankie. We're out of here. <laughs> Thanks, All right, dude. bud, you bet. A little bit about